There's a powerful yoga mantra that says, I am at peace as I am, which also highlights the importance of acceptance. You can't find a sense of inner balance and harmony if you are dissatisfied with yourself and your surroundings. And this was part of the message of the International Day of Yoga. I participated in a mass yoga event in Cape Town, which also set out to make a tangible difference to the lives of children. The United Nations has declared a number of international days to commemorate and as you can imagine many of them are quite serious but there's one that stands out for me because it is so joyous and that is the International Day of Yoga. Cape Town is one of the cities in the world that is celebrating this day and I came to experience it for myself. Morning! Here you go. Thank, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Enjoy. Yay! <laughs> The venue was soon filled with yoga enthusiasts of all ages and yogini Joel Slebos joined India's Consul General in Cape Town, Abhishek Shukla, in performing Aarti as an expression of spiritual humility and gratitude before beginning the session. The press release said that the Mega Power workshop and session would be powered by Joelle Slebos and I know exactly why they chose those words right now. She is a bundle of focused energy and I can't wait to find out more about her yoga journey. Joelle, welcome to Mela. Thank you. Joelle, how did you come to be involved in the day of international yoga? Four years ago, I did my teacher's training in Bali and as a yogic, they ask you to do Dharma and Dharma is giving back. So I was sitting thinking, what can I do to give back? And I just moved to Cape Town, had done an International Day of Yoga in Europe, and thought, how is it possible that we have so many yoga studios here in Cape Town, but there's no International Day of Yoga? And I thought, I'll do it. And we went to the city, ICC, a sponsorship, and this year we're here. What sparked your interest in yoga and then to eventually become a yoga instructor? Originally, I was more into fitness. And then I did a yoga class. Like the more you do it, it creeps under your skin and it becomes a lifestyle it's because it's just so much more than just exercise. And to become a teacher was a big choice because I'm originally an economist. But yeah, I just felt that it was my calling or my purpose to, to spread the love of yoga. Do you have to be fit and young to do yoga or is it for almost anyone? Anybody can do yoga, whether you're old or young or big or small, tall, doesn't matter because in yoga the beautiful thing is that it's non-competitive and you listen to your body. So even if I have a little bit of a stiffish day, I take it easy. And it's not because someone else next to me is having a great day that I have to do the same. What is your international day of yoga message for everyone out there? It's all about love. If you find love for yourself and love for others, and if you're kind, the world is just a more beautiful place. Thank you for being here. Do you do yoga? Yes. How often? Every week. With Earth Child Project? Yes. So what do you learn from yoga? Yoga helps um, relax my mind and it calms me down. As the founder and director of the Earth Child Project, could you give us some background of the project, its aims and activities? The Earth Child Project originally started back in 2007 and our main aim was to plant seeds of transformation in mainstream schools in Cape Town and South Africa and it was really to bring a more holistic approach of education into the schools. What are the benefits of teaching yoga and mindfulness to children? So much of what they do at school is preparing them for the future. Whereas what's great about these kind of tools is they're practical and the children can use them immediately. And especially we work in township community schools where the children face huge amounts of stress and pressure because of the context of the community that they live in. What we see happening is that they start to use these exercises and tools every day because their experience is that it helps to calm them down in the community and at home, but also things like we've had children say before, an exam and that it really makes a difference. Sitting helps you always connect to yourself and to your breath. We'll sit still for another minute. in Cape Town, the Consul General of India, Mr. Abhishek Shukla, has been hard at work on the event and he's also an amazing yogi himself. 
Abhishek, it is so wonderful to have you on Mela. Thank you. Yoga has been described as India's gift to the world. Could you elaborate on this? Yes, indeed. Yoga is uh, India's gift to the world. And in a way, the objective was that yoga should become a global movement so that it is able to benefit the humankind. Is there a growing interest in yoga worldwide? The International Day of Yoga, in a way, has given more speed and intensity to taking it to different corners of the world and cutting across the boundaries. Now, yoga is accessible to everyone. International Day of Yoga has, in a way, been able to take yoga to people rather than getting people to come to yoga. What is your International Day of Yoga's message for everyone out there? The first step is most difficult in a way. Start yoga and then yoga will absorb you. Bring your thumbs to your mouth. May I speak the truth? The dynamic energy of the International Day of Yoga is so palpable that it is no wonder that the effects of the practice are so vast. I am feeling spiritually, emotionally and physically restored and I hope to see you at next year's event. I would definitely say yoga has changed my life, both physically and mentally. It's really strengthened my body as well as my mind. My International Day of Yoga message is to just find love and peace and harmony within yourself and just love yourself.